An emotion-packed replay of last year's Mercer County Tournament Championship falls nothing short of what fans expected. And in Lawrence, Cardinal Boys basketball comes into Tuesday undefeated, yet facing not only their greatest challenge, but also their greatest rival. I'm Mark Fontes with sports. Last March, the Ewing High Blue Devils won their first MCT final in boys basketball since 1984. They beat Tretton High, whose ladies just hours earlier lost their own MCT final against Tretton Catholic. But it's a new year, and the Tornadoes, along with head coach Greg Grant, want to prove themselves even more. The Ewing High Blue Devils in a rematch of last year's MCT final against Trenton High, attracting a full crowd to this 4 p.m. matinee. The Blue Devil faithful cheering their boys on against the Tornadoes, both sides with a loss here in the early season, but as noted, tons of fan support. Rashid Wallace, like his NBA namesake, putting it up from downtown. No good. Rebound Terry Taylor, and he sinks it. Ewing comes back, trail of Vove to Taquan Cruz. Cruz heads into the key to the hole, in fact, and he drops it in. Wallace back with it for the Tornadoes later. Throws it up to Hassan Abdullah, who nets himself a deuce. The Trenton fans made lots of noise for Wallace, who here hooks up with Taylor, and Taylor easily picks up two points. Trenton High held the lead throughout the second half. It was nine points at the end of three quarters. Shelly Dearden and company talking strategies. David Azoro, 31, takes this into the lane, and he turns two. The senior, an integral part of all of Ewing's five wins. Wallace again from downtown. Three-point play. The Tornadoes were about to strike again right after that, but Ewing's Dante Jones, another one with a same-name friend of the NBA, takes this, dishes to Cruz. He can't find the nylon, but Ronnie Valentine with the board and basket. His classmates love it. They were also entertained by this wild melee. Several shot attempts here, all no good. Rebound off to Trenton's Taylor, or is it? Jones grabs it right back for Ewing, shoots... Air ball, but there's Isaiah York to save the day completely. Later, Terry Taylor saves this from going out. It ends up with Jabri Jackson, who also plays Tornado football. He dishes to Abdullah for three. Yes. Now check this out. That bucket made it 74-68 in favor of Trenton. Shortly after, Taylor went to the line. He got fouled inside of two minutes to play. He hit both free throws. Tornado should be up 76-68, right? Well, after Dan Hawk hit this three, the scoreboard read 75-71. Tornado head coach Greg Grant and his staff were just incensed. They had a lot of words with the scorer's table. Ewing coach Dearden looked on, wanting the game to resume. Eventually, the Tornadoes got their 76 back on the board. Azoro, however, made it a one-possession game with 56 seconds left. After some Trenton free throws, Ewing came storming back. Valentine here makes it a two-point game with 17 and a half to go. But Trenton High would get the possessions, draw the fouls, and hit the necessary shots from the line to put the contest out of reach. The Tornadoes avenge last year's MCT defeat, outlasting Ewing 83-77. In Lawrence, the Cardinal faithful packing their home gym, looking to see if their boys could stay undefeated, taking on their least favorite squad, the Notre Dame Irish. Ryan Germano hits that three. Germano, a 17-point score on the night. Lawrence on offense. That's Luke Bushman, number 30. Beautiful spin move tossing it gently to Jimmy Glover, who comes up with the points. Cards back with it. Manny Alicia to Russell Austin. He shoots for three. No good, but Glover there to salvage it and get two out of the play and draw some hometown applause in the process. Mark Maximo with the Irish to Danny O'Keefe. His pass out of bounds off a Lawrence player, but seconds later, Maximo, right place, right time. He recorded 12 points on the evening. Bushman hidden here shoots. No good. He gets his own miss only to see it stolen by Germano. Number three goes all the way taking it to the hole and netting another two. Ten point lead for the Irish midway through the fourth. Chris Tate of the Cardinals to Bobby Brackett. He shoots, can't hit it but Tate with the rebound and he gets the basket. Tate a six point scorer on this Tuesday. Notre Dame talking things over still with a comfortable lead but they did not want to blow it. O'Keefe with that in mind finds Isaiah Johnson who nails a beautiful jump shot. Johnson led all scores with 30. Irish staying on offense. Maximo another chance to add to his point total which he capitalizes on. Cards keeping their heads up, playing for pride. Glover from downtown, that's on the money. But Lawrence High, who in recent years has struggled against Notre Dame in multiple sports, unable to stay unbeaten here in boys basketball as the Irish hand them their first loss of 15-point decision at home Tuesday night. Just a reminder, these highlights of all CVC basketball brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems, an authorized Canon sales and service facility, your business solutions headquarters, Prior NAMI. The West Windsor South High Pirates knocked off Nottingham High yesterday in boys basketball. Zavon Johnson scored 17 points, while Isaiah Edmonds and Chris Evans also scored 12 apiece. 
But the North star Zach Mezde scored 12, but was unable to stop the Pirates as they roll 66-49 in beating the North Stars. South improved to 6-1 on the season, and there are prior NAMI team of the day. That's all for sports on this Wednesday. In a moment, Mercer County Close-Up goes on location to witness a momentous occasion in Hamilton government history. Stay with us.